Hey, I just Mark Rodriguez here. My review for the December version of Steel City Con. Well, actually, not my review. It's um, someone else's review. I couldn't be there. So yes, no matter how hard you tried to look for us, there was no Mark Rodriguez, no Paige, no Chuck Rodriguez, no Fred, none of us. You didn't see me walking around with a camera, freaking you out or whatever, filming and all that stuff. We just couldn't do it. Nothing against the con, of course. It's just bad timing. You know, financial stuff, the, the gas money, the road trip, the admission fee, the, the just the spare time to do it. Like, you know, that that kind of thing all got in the way. And it's such a shame, though, because recently we had a real big Hall of Famer. They have had wrestlers before that were kind of cool. I mean, I, I do admit Roddy White Piper was cool, too, and such a shame that he's no longer with us. But yeah, these other guys I just didn't really care that much about because it wasn't really my era or my thing or, you know, Virgil is Virgil, you know. But now this time they had a real Hall of Famer. They had the original, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Woo! Styling and profiling. Yeah, you know, that's the original. That's the classic. A real big star in WCW and the WWE. He's multi champion in there and he also was the third man in one of the Royal Rumbles. He entered like the third man and survived the whole hour or so and came out as a champion. And yes, now even his daughter, Charlotte Flair, is the current WWE Divas champion. So that's pretty cool. It's just championships all around with that guy, you know, and with Flair, you know. But it would have been so cool to see him. If we could just tell something someone of his caliber, it would have been like fifty bucks or so for an autograph or or another fifty bucks for a photo next to him or whatever. And it just would have been a shame to be in the same building with him and not be able to afford that kind of thing. But I just didn't have that kind of money to throw around. I mean, it's such a shame, but what can you do? And we also had Sean Austin there. He's the guy from the Lord of the Rings series, very famous. But he also voices Raphael in the new TMNT Nickelodeon cartoon. So, again, I would like to have been there and get, like, my DVDs autographed or whatever. But anyways, but the reason that this is not my review, this is a review actually by Anna, who was at the con. And you remember Anna, she was in our Nerds of Nam episodes and all the the thing in the channel. So you probably saw her in our channel several times before here and there. So here's our, um, our review, her review. And uh, this will be live, reading it off her message she sent me. I hope there's no swearing or nothing, whatever in there, because I'm going to read this off live. So, <clears throat> I went to the Steel City Con for the first time on Saturday. My aunt came with me. She wanted to learn about conventions, and I thought I was the perfect person to teach her. Steel City Con could have used a bigger venue due to the sheer number of people that came. The aisle between the vendors and the main room weren't all that big, and they were very difficult to navigate. Really though, that's my only complaint. Lots of variety in the artist alley. There are quite a few vendors selling tabletop games, which you don't see too often at smaller cons. And the guests were able to take some time and talk to people. Maybe only a minute or two, but sometimes that's all you need. I may go again in the future, but my true loyalty lies to the Sci-Fi Valley Con, so you're most likely to see me there next June compared to the Steel City Con in April. Unless they can guarantee a fist fight between Shannon Doherty and Holy Marie Combs, who are scheduled to be guests. Then I am definitely there. Because seriously, do they want Shannon Doherty and Holly Marie Combs to burn down the convention center because they can't be in the same room? Wow. Well, I didn't know about that little piece of drama there. But um, yeah, Shannon Doherty, of course, is famous for Charmed. But also for me, more famous for Beverly Hills 90210. Now that's all I would probably want to get an autograph from. And her, and both her and Jenny Garth are both my favorite all-time babes of the 90210 series and everything. And uh, I, I just didn't really watch Charm so much as she was there. By the time I finally got into Charm, she was already gone and replaced by um, Phoebe Piper, the new girl, Paige. I don't know. Whatever. But anyways, um, yeah, that's the whole thing. And for those of you who have not seen the Steel City Con yet and everything, you can see all our other videos. It's all pretty much the same thing. It's basically like a, like a super gigantic... It's almost like a gigantic indoor flea market slash garage sale of everyone selling all their old school 80s and 90s toys and action figures and comics and just all kinds of artifacts and all kinds of weird things. And of course, celebrities are there for you guys to check out. Although one thing I did notice in the previous cons and of course now based on what Anna told me and me checking out the list online is that they don't have the vehicles anymore. That's a shame because one of the big things about these cons, both the Steel City and the Sci-Fi uh, Sci Valley Con, were the vehicles, like the Batmobile replica, the Ghostbusters car, the DeLorean, all of those things. So it's a shame that that lately the Steel City Con didn't have the vehicles anymore. So I do hope for my personal recommendation that for next year they bring back some of the vehicles because that's always that's an extra added bonus. You know, I mean, they're almost as bigger as big as the as the guests. I mean there's times when we go there and we care more about the DeLorean and stuff than the actual like celebrities they have there. So anyways guys that's my quick little mini review. 
Um, and I told me she might do a longer, more in-depth review that we'll be adding in the blog, the marketing page blog of Epic Randomness. You can check it out below. Whenever I get that article done, I'll put the link down there. So anyway, guys, that's the end of... I guess I should say, Anna's review of the Steel City Con. Hope you guys enjoyed the review and the pictures and all that good stuff. And if you guys were there, anything you all want to say or any input, anything, more information or whatever, or advice for other con goers, put your comments below and your own personal review on your thoughts and stuff like that. And yeah, so Mark Rodriguez is here signing off and see you all next time.